What is up fam and friends, Throttle PHI here and sa video na to, pumunta tayo sa Bristol South Laguna to try one of their most iconic big bike, the Bristol Bobber 650. Ang Bobber 650 lang naman ay isa sa pinaka classic looking big bike sa lineup ng Bristol. Cool na cool ang old school look and vintage feels niya. Kaya naman, talagang head turner ang big bike na to with its bobber cruiser style and design. The Bristol Bobber 650 was launched virtually in the Philippines on February of 2021 and available at an introductory price of 398,000 pesos. Kahit sino siguro sumakay dito, talagang magiging good looking in an instant. Pero personally, mahilig ako sa classic and vintage looking bikes. Yeah, it's a dream come true na matry ang Bobber 650. And looking forward sa future na makatry din ng ibang classic rides. Kaya tara, let's get into the details and find out what the Bristol Bobber 650 is made of. Let's go! At the heart of the Bristol Bobber 650 is a liquid-cooled 4-stroke 8-valve DOHC parallel twin engine with a displacement of 649 cc it has a max power output of 69 horsepower at 8500 rpm and a max torque of 62 newton meters at 7000 rpm it can run an impressive top speed of 165 kilometers per hour not too shabby for a classic looking ride kasi since classic or old school nga ang feel niya Pwede mo ding isipin na it comes with its classic features. Pero that is not the case. Kasi fuel injected na siya. Unlike yung mga lumang bobbers talaga na carb type. Which also means na mas acceptable ang consumption niya. And since we are in the topic of consuming gas, it has a tank capacity of 14.5 liters with a consumption of 16 kilometers per liter depending on your riding style. It also has a 6-speed manual transmission and take note na di siya yung disungkit na type of system. Para siyang pang tricycle na type of shifting na may tapakan palikod. Let's talk about how easy it is to handle this beast. Meron siyang seat height na 740mm and to give you an idea, I'm about 5'5 or 167cm. And I can say na I can really handle the ride well. It comes with a ground clearance of 130mm. It also has a total weight of 225kg. For comparison, almost the same weight with the Kimco AK550 na natry na din natin. When it comes to the brake system and suspension, the Bristol Bobber 650 comes with anti-lock braking system. Meron siyang front single disc na may size na 345mm. And sa rear naman ay single disc din with a size of 280mm. Meron KYB front suspension telescopic fork and dual rear shock absorber. For the wheels of the Bristol Bobber 650, Sa front ay 120 by 80, sa rear naman ay 150 by 80. Both tubeless and spokes type. Added feature na din na meron siyang USB port to charge your electronic devices. So that's what you get out of this ride. May classic, vintage, old school feels with a touch of modern features for a better riding experience. Hey guys, what's up? Throttle PHI here and eto na yung Bristol 650. Nakakatuwa kasi wala masyadong tao. Kung nakita nyo kami-kami lang, you can technically use all the bikes right here. Pero like what I said, ang focus natin ngayon mostly is si Bobber 650. So yan lang yung technical course natin. Hindi ka makakabirit pero parang more or less 100 meters. So dito lang tayo paikot-ikot. Let's check and see kung ano yung feel ng Bobber 650. Alright! So initially, no, yung mababa yung clearance ni Bobber 650. Nakatingkayad pa rin ako pero hindi siya ganun kataas. It's a bit heavy. Of course, it's a 650cc motorcycle. Try natin siya start Ayan yung ating panel. So, as you can see, may pagka-analog siya. And then, yung babang part is digital. So, yung analog na part is, you can see your speedometer. You have your running mileage, your fuel. Here sa right side, ABS, gear indicator. 
meron rin siyang kilometers per hour na digital and then sa top naka neutral check engine engine oil uh, napaka basic and simple lang rin nung panel mo though you know for my point of view to look at it pagka nag straight ka then you have to medyo titingin ka pababa para makita mo yung panel mo so and dito yung kanyang electric start ang cool nito uh, ito yung left and right na kanyang signal light so kung kailangan mo mag right pipindutin mo to kung kailangan mo mag left pipindutin mo to kung kailangan mo mag hazard uh, you have to push both buttons and dito yung light meron ring lights dito at saka yung ating busina so let's try to start it sound check Hindi nyo yun? Sarap! Sarap sa tenga Oh my god! Okay, so that's how it sounds like guys. So tara, try natin mag-ikot. Abot ko naman, no? maganda rin yung pagkakalapat. Ayan, gear indicator. Naka-gear 1 na ako. So kita mo siya guys. Mabigat siya tol, mabigat So sabi ni kuya, ingat lang sa pagliko O nga Kailangan ko akong nang mas ma Mas na clearan <laughs> So parang puro gear 1 lang ako dito guys Pero um, yeah, yung turn guys Kailangan mo ng malaking laking clearance for it Hindi ako makabirit ng matindi-tindi ah But ang ganda nung pagkakalapat nung upuan Medyo naka-lean forward lang ako ng konti Yung handlebar niya, magkalayo yung both arms ko Ramdam mo yung pressure dito sa left and right right hand mo Yung tension um, Though you can adjust, may clearance pa ng konti pa atas yung upuan Hindi lang ako makabirit o makaarangkada na maganda Pero ganda, ang ganda nung feel nung motor na to Sa side mirror naman, hindi lang ako masanay masyado sa ganitong type of side mirror Parang hindi ko masyado makita yun nasa <laughs> left or right corner nasa likod ko might be a little difficult for me siguro ako kasi mas sanay ako sa yung standard na side mirror na nandito sa part na to tas naka ganun uh, responsive na rin naman yung brakes nya you don't have to press too hard or apakan ng masyado para mag stop ka mabigat sya mabigat sya sa totoo pero feeling ko yung going in and out of the traffic parang kaya kaya sya bigyan lang ng clearance parang ganun ramdam ramdam ko yung power tingin ko during a long ride kaya ang kaya to masarap komportable naman para rin matest no yung full capacity ng motor uh, since very limited lang yung ginagalawan ko so paikot-ikot lang ako dito pero it's it's good i think you won't have an issue sa power or acceleration rin ng motor na to we can't really tell what the top speed is pero baka pwede nating i-check sa website pero andun andun yung may pagka torquey feels no medyo bad as yung arangkada niya pero syempre light light piga lang ako dito so paikot-ikot lang ako side stand so kailangan mong apakan tong parang maliit na bola na to para ma side stand mo siya there you go So here are my final thoughts on the Bristol Bobber 650. With the limited time I had with it, I can say that it's easy to learn and understand the bike. It's not intimidating at all. Factored in jan ang low seat height, low ground clearance, and mababang center of gravity, which contributes to easy handling. I imagine ko na super perfect to for gliding in the highway, cruising on open roads, and taking on wide twisties. Panels, buttons are self-explanatory then. Medyo unconventional pero di siya masyadong complicated and may ease of access naman. Sana yan lang din siguro. And the more that you spend time with it, the more you get used to it. Brakes and clutch are responsive. Though di ko nadala sa labas and na-experience with real traffic, but I can say it will deliver naman. Adding safety sa ating journey. Sobrang cool din sa pakiramdam na you are riding a classic or vintage looking bike. Lakas makapogi feels ng ride na to. Samahan pa ng badass na low tone exhaust sounds. Tunog big bike talaga kahit stock pipe lang. Kahit sino pwedeng pwedeng papugiin ng ride na to. Instant macho looks and feels. Kahit araw-arawin ko to, I'm sure I'll never get used to this feeling. Now here are the things that we need to highlight then to set expectations. 
Pansin ko lang na yung fuel tank, mukha siyang malaki so I was expecting a larger capacity. Pero sakto lang pala or di ganun kalaki ang kaya niyang i-hold. For comparison lang, ang Bristol Venturi 500 can hold 21 liters of fuel. Whereas sa Bristol Bobber 650 can only hold 14.5 liters of fuel. Also, based sa experience ng ibang Bobber 650 users, common feedback na medyo matagtag siya or ma-vibrate sa normal roads. Yung mga tipo ng kalsada na hindi asphalto or hindi perfect. Could be directly related because yung rear suspension is somewhat connected sa seat or one. Pero may mga reviews din naman na nagsasabi na hindi. But it's because the test they did was the expressway, which is mas maganda ang road condition. So kailangan mo din kasi isipin yung road condition, especially sa Philippines. Medyo challenge to. Imagine sa long ride, tapos bayan-bayan ang dadaanan mo, tapos mabigat pa ang daloy ng trapiko. In my point of view, mararamdaman mo talaga siguro ang fatigue. So if I were to use it, I won't use this for daily city driving, especially if you expect heavy traffic. Dahil mababa din ang height clearance nito, may mga chance na sumasayad siya sa humps. And chance din na sumayad sa cornering. And take note din na dahil long wheel based, may slight challenge din sa maneuverability. So with all that, it's best to know the reason first why you need a motorcycle. Consider the geography and usage, malaking factor to para ma-maximize mo ang ride. If you will use this Bobber 650 on a long, smooth road sa tamang cruising speed lang, talagang may enjoy mo to while getting the love and appreciation from the road. Try it if you get the chance and you'll know what I'm talking about. So, gandito na lang muna guys. Feel free to comment below, ask questions, and share your experiences if you're a long-time user ng Bobber 650. So this is Throttle PHI na nag-iiwan ng mensahe. If you quit once, it becomes a habit. Never quit. I'll see you on the next upload. Peace out.